This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create this ethereal ghost scene of a long gone spirit descending from a staircase of an old, once splendorous castle. I included two files for you to download. One is this photo of a castle stairway and the other is a vintage photo of a woman in a flowing gown. Their links are in my video's description or in my project files. The first step is to create a selection around the woman so we can separate her from the background. I've done hundreds of tutorials showing how to do this, so for your convenience and to save time, open your channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or command click the alpha channel, which makes a selection of its shape. If your move tool isn't open, press V on your keyboard. Drag the woman onto the tab of the castle. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. It's already pretty much the size we want, but if you're using a different photo and want to resize it, press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to a corner. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2019, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it out or in. If you're using a later version, just press Alt or Option as you drag it. To reposition it, go inside the Transform's bounding box and drag it. Then press Enter or Return. We'll convert the figure into a smart object so we can add filters to it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. We'll make two copies of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. To save space in the Layers panel, let's group them into a folder. Shift-click Layer 1 to make it and the Layer 1 copy active as well. Press Ctrl or Command G to place them into a folder. Let's name it Figure. Temporarily hide the folder and make the castle layer active. Make a copy of it. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. Check Colorize. Make the hue 120, the saturation 25, and the lightness minus 80. Open the Adjustments panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Adjustments. Click the Levels icon. Make the input midtone level 0.7 and the input white level 200. Shift click the castle copy to make it and the adjustment layers above it active and place them into a folder. Name it Castle Dark. Make the figure folder active. Click the adjustment layer icon and click Hue Saturation. Since this will be at the top of our layers panel, it'll ensure that the figure under it and the lens flare we'll be adding later will have that eerie greenish color. Check Colorize. Make the hue 120, the saturation 25, and the lightness 0. Make the castle folder active and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the folder. We're going to brush black over the areas of the castle, which in effect will reveal the brighter castle layer under it in the layers panel. Layer masks act as stencils. White reveals and black conceals. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Pick a soft round brush. We'll adjust its size in a moment. Make its hardness 0% and the opacity and flow 100%. To make your brush bigger or smaller, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the left or right bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over areas of the castle that would be illuminated by a single source emanating from approximately here. To mask out areas you brushed over, invert your foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard. Feel free to adjust your brush's size and opacity to address the distance and location of parts of the castle relative to the light source. Make the figure folder visible and open it. Hide the top two figures 
and make the bottom figure active. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 20 pixels. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. Make the number of generators 9, the wavelength 10 and 275, the amplitude 1 and 37, and the scale is 100%. The type is sine, and undefined areas is repeat edge pixels. Change the blend mode to screen. Make the middle figure visible and active and reduce its opacity to 50%. Go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Make the amount 20, the Blur method Spin, and the quality Best. If you want, you can drag the Blur Center to a new position, which will recenter the blur on your image. However, for this particular example, I'll keep it at its default center. Make the top figure visible and active. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel. Change its blend mode to hard light and reduce its opacity to 70%. Close the figure folder and make a new layer above it. In this layer, we'll create piercing bright irises. We want white to be the foreground color, so press X on your keyboard to invert them. Open your brush picker and make the size 2 pixels. Make sure the hardness is 0 and the opacity and flow are 100%. Press Z to open your zoom tool and drag it over the eyes. Press B to open back your brush tool and place the brush over one of the eyes. Click once, move it to the other eye, and click again. To zoom back out, press Ctrl or Command and the plus key a few times, or you can press Ctrl or Command 0 to fit the entire image onto your canvas. Let's name the layer Eyes. Since the eyes are part of the figure, let's drag it into the figure folder. Lastly, we'll make a bright mystical light. Make a new layer. We'll fill it with black, and since our background color is black, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Change its blend mode to Screen, which shows through to the layers below it. We'll make a composite snapshot of our visible image so we know where to position a lens flare over it. To do this, make the top adjustment layer active and press Alt Control Shift E on Windows or Option Command Shift E on a Mac. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. The brightness is 100% and the lens type is 50 to 300 mm zoom. Drag the lens flare over the outstretched hand. Now that we have the lens flare in position, delete the composite snapshot by either dragging it to the trash or, in later versions, by pressing the delete key. Make the black layer active. Repeat the last filter by pressing alt Control f on Windows or Option-Command-F on a Mac. Photoshop applied the lens flare in the exact position you placed it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.